Well, good morning, everyone. And it's a happy Thursday, I guess, as happy as we'll be. Yeah. How's it going, Robert? Good Bobby night. Atkins is here with me again. And today's, I hope today kind of got you to just come in today with our title of our thing, which was, um, what was our title? The housing market. So, let's see, the housing market is the, in the early stages of a studential downshift. Home sales may drop by 25% by end of summer. Did that get you to come in? And the reason I brought this up is because it's a headline. And this is what I saw the headline this week on an article. And I thought it was ridiculous because the problem we have these days is people put headlines and then they go in the article. Uh, well, they could happen if, you know, the sun was in the southern sky at this time and this day. And basically what they're saying is, um, and I'm going to add this in real quick because I did um, do the article so we could look at it. Um, so basically market watch put out this article for, and the guy who did it was, um, Ian Shepherdson. He's a chief economist, founder, research consulting. You know, you guys can read that. Um, basically he's saying that in his research, he could see that, um, he projected existing home sales will drop by 25% by the annual pace of 6.2 million set in February to a rate of 4.5 million by the end of summer. And he is correct. Right. Yeah. Right. He's talking about inventory, people. He's not talking that we're going to have a. I mean, he is talking that with the increase in rates, we're you know because rates are going up, it's going to slow the market. Well, the funny thing about that is, I look back at some of the loans I did in two thousand nine, two thousand ten, two thousand. Those were all five percent, mm -hmm. right? For high fours, or middle five, kind of like we're here. Yes, house prices are higher. I don't need to keep this there. We'll get that out of there. But um, what I want to get at is headlines are horrible because they want you to read the article the article then says it could happen if all this other stuff um causes people to slow down and buying but I, if we look at where we are last year versus the year before we were down 12 percent in inventory the, from the year prior mm -hmm. i think we're down close to 20 percent there you know 18 percent difference so the summertime is usually the biggest peak volume for people to buy on average i'm not saying all the time but most a lot of times people move in the summer because they change schools they change this that's when they do it yeah. but we are actually in a market now where people move all the time it's not just because of that yeah and so he is correct one thing inventory will be down by 25 percent. i get i can predict that too um then compared to the year before because after summer because they're just people are less people are selling their single family home that they live in and we don't have new homes being built. I said this, I don't know, six months ago that I, th I thought we, you know, the average existing home sales was 85% right of the market. Mm -hmm. I said that was going to drop to 50% because of the fact that I thought with people getting in their 2% interest rates from the, the great, you know, what we what was that called the pandemic we lowered everybody to the two percent interest rate they're not going to want to up their payment they're not going to want to do this and go get a four percent interest rate so it's going to take a lot of people out of the market who if we were in the two percent interest rates would be i'll sell my house and buy another one all day long yeah right so we're taking people out who don't want to go through that process and we're going to see less people moving out of state to other states um, because they're figuring out that one they have to deal with weather i saw a thing today on facebook where golf ball hell in texas it was hitting the pool hitting everything i was yeah. there one time when i was going through one school and that golf ball helped dense your car oh yeah yeah and that's you know you gotta go get that repaired and stuff so what i'm getting at is be careful with the headlines you read out there be careful what you see out there go to a professional we can explain what they're talking about and don't just read the headlines read the whole article because if you would have read this you would have said this guy's anybody can predict this yeah. And, and you know, when, when they're comparing statistics all the way back to like, say 2020, that's really not even fair, you know, because once the pandemic hit, you had a big influx of people moving out of state. That was a big, you know, cause for people moving out, but also investors, you know, they, they were worried. So they, st they started giving, I mean, we had lots of investors. We gave, we, ser we served a lot of 60 day notices to their renters and they sold their properties. So there was a, actually a, an influx of inventory in 2020 that was unexpected. Yeah, but it's still, I mean, you got to remember 2020 was a pandemic. So you had six months really that we act, you guys actually did stuff June through December, mm -hmm. right? Because March, April, May, you know, in that period that we were, you know, shut down for two weeks. <laughs> anyway, oh. Yeah. Um, and then people didn't want people in their house. Remember 
what was the COVID? What you had to do for COVID? Oh yeah, yeah. mask up. You had to wipe down everything before you when you were done. You couldn't touch certain things. People didn't let people in their house. So you got to remember that you're dealing with that. So there was less inventory then, even though all that stuff you're talking about happened. And then the next year there was less inventory. Mm-hmm. And because I said the f- moment we started putting all these people in the low interest rates, they were never going to move because the cost of moving. They look at, do I need an extra bedroom for my kid or can they both just stick in the same bedroom for a couple of years? Yeah. <laughs> right. Because that's, that's, that bedroom is going to cost me 700 more a month yeah. in a payment. Why do I want to do that? Or a thousand bucks a month. Why do I want to do that? I could be more secure, have more money for my family, do things to this house. But that's why remodeling went crazy and everybody did so much remodeling to their house during the pandemic. And after they're still, I mean, everybody I talked to so far out. Um, the bids are ridiculous now for yeah. the repair. I mean, they're up. Oh yeah, yeah, thirty per thirty to forty percent. You know, some guy was saying, yeah, we had um, seventeen years of price increases in one year. Yeah, I, I've had people that have been trying to get like bathrooms remodeled, and they're getting estimates like twenty five to thirty thousand. That's so twenty five is not bad for a a full bathroom remodel, right? We're ta- we're talking a hall bra- bath, just shower and tub. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's not, that was on average the average price before. Now it's forty thousand. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It depends where you live. I do all my own work, so I, I when I see when I hear the contractor prices, I'm like, geez. Yeah, well, geez. that's the difference. You do all your own work. Some of us don't do our own work. Yeah. Or the, or they have the I just don't have the money to pay people to do my, that kind of work, man. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I need to get better lighting in my studio. I, I got a shadow on my or stop wearing hats. Everybody knows I'm bald. So Show your hell? bald head, man. Uh, dude, it's not about that. It's just I don't want skin cancer. Sorry. Yeah. Too in the people. studio? No, from I just it's on me. Yeah. I don't take it off because uh, I take it off. It's a mess underneath. I'm just kidding. There's none there. <laughs> All right. Um, that's pretty much what I wanted to go through. Is be careful. These headlines are correct at a certain point. We're mm-hmm. going to see inventory down. And we're going to see it continually going down just because we haven't built enough homes for people to move into and we haven't done this. So it's just going to get tighter and tighter every year. So yeah. um, if you're a buyer, don't get discouraged, get your butt out there and keep work writing these offers. You will get in. Somebody will help you. You yep. will get there. Don't don't get emotionally attached to any house until you get in contract. Until you close. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ho- ho- yeah hopefully we don't ever fall out of escrow, but yeah, you never on know. Occasion. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. things happen but if it does it's not the right house for you the one you get into is the right house it always works that way yeah all right thanks bobby for being here today and everybody else you guys make it a great day and have a